Welcome everyone to our prayer journey daily devotion with Mike Toad. The great thing about God's word is the more you look at it, the more you search it out, the more you find. The more God uncovers his truth to each and every one of us. So today, let's take a look at two verses in Ephesians 1, verse number 1 and verse number 3. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Jesus Christ. Hold on to that thought. Then in verse 3, Blessed be God the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now, the more you go into this first chapter of Ephesians, you see God's predestination and ability to get the job done for the faithful. It is not anything that we do. God does the saving, and God does the sanctifying, and God does the delivering. All we need to do is to get up. You know, you look at the life of Samson, and you see in there many, many mistakes. And I was shocked as a young Christian when I went to the book of Hebrews and opened up chapter 11 and find him in the Hall of Faith. He failed all the way across his life, messing up over and over again. And in the end, God uses him. But not only does he use him, he puts him in the Hall of Faith, the Hall of Fame of Christianity. He came back. He was unfaithful, but then became faithful again. He got up and kept going. And that's what I think this is saying here in this statement when it says, he said this also, that the faithful in Jesus Christ. Are you faithful? Or are you like me? You know, you put up your arms in church and say, God, I surrender all. In the back of your mind, you're saying, well, not all. Sometimes I feel like the fate fall instead of the fate full. But God does the lifting. I'm going to read something to you from an individual that recently passed away, and it was written only weeks before this event happened to him. He was like other people that I had dealt with in the past who struggled with different things in life that caused his own problems. He was a kind of baby Christian in a sense of understanding the gospel, but he was a saved individual. Listen to this statement that he makes. Whether God's love is real and nobody has been through what I have been through, now I know God's love is real. God has made it tough to make me tough, to build the man out of me and show me the love throughout all the pain. He weakened my knees only so that I may bow down and pray, pick myself up again, and go on knowing I surrender, I admit my wrongs, and ask for forgiveness so my, I may spend eternity with him. Despite the failures, this man got up over and over again because I know the struggles he went through. And now he abides with Christ. You know, in sports sometimes, in our day and in our world, I can understand where it's not good to give a particip participation trophy. Because there are winners and there are losers. But with Christ, you're a winner when you're faithful, like this man did. When you get up and go again, no, you're not perfect. Yes, you're going to fall. The thing is, are you going to get up again? If you watch fights and different things like that in sports, the real winners never give up. And we don't have to worry about much. All we need to do is stand up again and take the blows. In Psalm 31, 23, it says, The Lord preserveth the faithful. Get up. Psalm 101, 6 says, My eyes shall be upon the faithful in the land. God is watching over you. Psalm 26, 
Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness. But a faithful man who can find only God. Faithful is the acts of preservation. No giving up. God is the one that's going to get it done. When you fall, get up, confess, get it right, and get going. And one day, you will appear before your Lord, who has not only saved you, but delivered you. And Jesus surely will have increased, and you decreased. So until next time.